Hey, what up you guys? It is Sassy Assassin here, back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. It is currently April 3rd, 2024, and in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a Foodie Beauty related video brought to us by Apathetic Facts, so shout out to Apathetic Facts for providing us with today's content. The video is titled, Foodie Beauty Back in Canada and Admits She Was Banned. So, basically... I was aware when Chantel went live because I got the notification, but I was unable to really watch the live and the subsequent live that she did after the first one because I had lost power and I needed to preserve my phone battery because I didn't know when I was going to get my power back. We had a slew of very severe thunderstorms in my state for like the entirety of uh, like what's it? it's like Wednesday now, so Tuesday. So, you know, we were given like time, like estimations from the power company that it could be like a couple days until we get our power back because we had the high winds, we had the hail, we have the flooding, and there was just a lot of damage done throughout my city. There was even talks of tornadoes because this system had come in from like Arkansas and it moved its way like from you know to like. Can you know Kansas and Oklahoma and stuff like that? So um, that's why. And I, but uh, thankfully we got our power back around like eleven thirty. So I haven't had the power back on very long. And like the, I, I told myself the first thing I'm gonna do is jump online and uh, do my reaction because I was really eager to come back and and you know film the reaction to. Chantel's first live since being banned from YouTube for a week. And I, I just want to say this going in. I think Chantel is back in Canada because she tried to get her visa renewed. Okay. And she was unable to uh, get her visa renewed to go back to Kuwait. Because let's face it, she's been, you know, doing these visa renewals because uh, she's on a tourist visa for over a year now. And I think what's happened is that she's gotten a red flag on her passport and she could possibly be under investigation. So that's why I think she's in Canada. And <laughs> there's something almost poetic about this entire situation, right? She gets banned for a week on her birthday. The Mr. Snowflake documentary comes out on her birthday, right? And all the while this is happening, she's trying to go back to Kuwait, but has to return to Canada with her tail tucked between her legs. It's just, if for people who say that Chantel doesn't experience karma, this is her karma, you guys. This is her karma. But anyways, um, without further ado, let's get to, uh, I'm not going to speed this up because Apathetic Facts already has the, like, Chantel already sped up, so I don't want to do that. So, let's hear what Chantel has to say, you guys. Beauty Beauty, formerly Everyday Miriam, has been MIA for a week, and rumors have been circulating of a strike to her channel that comes along with a one-week timeout slash ban, with one viewer showing receipts of Chantal's channel being struck for hateful content because of this community post about another creator. Okay, so Perfectly Imperfect says on Twitter, Someone sent me this hashtag Foodie Booties video from March 24th, 2024 was removed for hateful and abusive content. It was the video and quote unquote, not normal. Okay. Hello. Thank you for reporting videos you find inappropriate. The video that you reported on to us on March 24th, 2024 has been removed or restricted from YouTube. Please note that creators have the right to appeal YouTube's decision any time after their content is removed or restricted. You are able to check the status of the content you flagged at any time. Check report history. Sincerely, the YouTube team. So not only was it for a video, but also for the Kalari post. 
you know what? I I I I said it. I figured that that it was because of of the the video and because of the post that she had written, not only about Kalari but FFG as well. Let's be real, because there are two posts. Um. So there was a ma- uh, numerous amounts of evidence indicating that Chantel had been banned. Okay? And Yo Mama is the one that kind of spilled the beans, as it were. Okay? And I understand some people are saying under my comment section, well, you know, it, it's just a, you're just assuming, you know, you don't have the, the evidence to back up your theories. There was plenty of, of, of breadcrumbs of evidence indicating that Chantel had been banned because of the, the, this video and because of the, the nasty post that she had written about Kalari. And funnily enough, the irony of the situation, her simp, Yo Mama, is the one that was the catalyst to her uh, making nasty comments about Kalari because he gassed her up and Chantel went off. And then Yo Mama has like the audacity to come online and whine and mo- bitch and moan about how unfair it was that Chantel got banned for a week. Like you're the one that started this whole mess, Yo Mama. Like what the fuck are you even talking about? If anybody should be to blame, it's you. Well, the one-week ban is over and Chantal is back. And there's a, you know, poetic justice to this whole situation, right? This all happened on Chantal's birthday. All right. During the the same day when Mr. Snowflake documentary came out. And then Chantel can't get her visa renewed. So she has to mosey on back to Canada. With a tail tucked between her legs. And Lord knows when she's going to be able to go back to Kuwait. If ever. I love that for you girl. And I. You know. I, something in my gut is telling me that. I'm right about this. About this whole. Why she's in Canada. And why she can't go back to Kuwait. Even though I don't have the evidence to back up my theory, I had the same gut feeling about the whole ban situation, okay? Even though I got told that, you know, my assumptions are baseless, and yet here we are. And was Chantel going to admit that I, I was right? So, um, I'm going to follow my gut on this one. And I know the people in the comment section that were the were trolls from from Chantel, you know, little hug box, and from Chantel herself. I'm completely aware of that, because let's face it, her trolls had nowhere else to go because Chantel wasn't there. So what do they do? They go on rea- random reaction channels and go off because they need to, you know. S- to kind of release that negative energy somewhere, right? And same with goes for Chantel. She she couldn't do it, on, you know, use her own channel handle, so she had to use a sock account. And so on her free t- during her free time, she had to rage at random reaction channels, myself included. I'm almost honored a little bit because she's finally found me. So maybe I'm not as small fry as I think I am. I'm still a small fry, but like the fact that she was able to find even me is, is, says a lot about how much she was like looking, like researching every reaction channel because I, I am technically small fry in this like vat, like this, this huge soup of like reaction channels in Girl World. So. That says a lot about Chantel. I'm kind of nervous and overwhelmed, so... And I have to let a little chin free. I can't... I feel claustrophobic. Oh, here we go, you guys. She's already releasing the chins. It's only a matter of time and, until she uh, rips off that hijab. I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm gone seven days. and my, Or eight days, or however many days. And my life has, like, changed so much that I don't even know where to start. I have so many stories. She's high as balls and she is giddy to be back in Canada, you guys. I haven't seen her this happy in a long time. 
for the person that says, oh, Kuwait is my home, Salah is my family, girl, you seem way more happier to be back in Canada than you do in Kuwait. It's obvious where your heart truly belong, truly is, Chantel, in, in Canada, in your home country. Stories I wanted to tell you guys. Like, being away made me realize, like, you guys are my support system. Hi, everybody! <laughs> Yeah, damn right we're, we're your support system because you rely on us. And that is including haters and reaction channels, not just the Beezers. You rely on all of us for your finan you know, you know to, for your financial support. You lost, what, seven, uh, I'm going to say on the low end, $700 from being banned. Yeah, you bet your butt that she's going to come back on here and be like, you guys are my support system. Damn right. Because you know what? You know what this week showed? Uh, us, uh, the the girl world, Chantel. It showed all of us that you need us more than we need you because we still were making content without you, Chantel. There were other rea reaction channels that were covering old content of yours, and then some reaction channels were covering other people. They had already moved on, Chantel. So technically, yeah. You need us more than we need you. And there's enough old content of yours that we could react to without you even making new content. So, that says a lot right there. <laughs> need to let a little bit of my chin out. Well, yeah, I'm in the Kia. I am literally jet lagged. I know people laugh and use that as like No, you're high as balls. Okay, that's pretty obvious because that's why you're so giddy because you're able to get marijuana. Um, and you know what? It's ham because you're still Muslim, right? So it's haram. You shouldn't be smoking. I don't care if you say it's medicinal. Your Muslims are not allowed to ingest intoxicants. Okay. But I, I don't, I, I just, I don't think that, you know, she's going to be a Muslim that much long. You know, the, the cosplay is going to be going on for that much longer. I give it maybe a month or two of her being back in Canada, if she's going to be that here in Canada, in Canada for that long. And then that's when the, uh, the hijab comes off and the, the cosplay is done. I don't know, something, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Okay. She could very well go back to Kuwait, but um, something is telling me that she may not be able to, even though she wants to. So where does that leave Salah and Chantel? I do not know. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the flow and see what happens. A euphemism for being high? No. I'm just like literally- Yeah, you are high. So tired and my body is so battered from this trip. I am going nuts. Yeah, have new glasses. So, you know, I they look horrible, right? Like I went to the eye doctor last time I was in Canada, but then I left without getting glasses. They're super expensive here. So before I left, so I was like, give me your prescription for your glasses. I'm going to go and get you glasses. So he went and got glasses for me before I headed out. And I'm glad he did. I just, uh, this, the key is all set. It got, has new brakes, has like $2,000 worth of work on this baby. I feel like I'm in a new car. I love this. Wow, two thousand dollars worth of work. Let me guess, Shmi paid for the ticket because you probably called her in a panic. Shmi, Shmi, I can't go back to to Kuwait. I need to get come back to Canada. I don't have enough money. Oh, oh yeah, sure, sure. I'll pay for your ticket. Don't you know? <laughs> My best Canadian accent. And then, you know, um, Chantel's like, oh shit, you know, I, I, I the Kia needs so much work. I, you know, I'm gonna have to you know, do an overhaul on the Kia, right? I love that for you, girl. I mean, so many amazing things are happening to this woman in such a short period of time. I mean, I'm surprised. If it wasn't for the weed, I think she'd be coming on here raging. That's the only reason why I think she's all giddy and happy is because she's got weed in her system and she's just happy that she's able to, to partake freely like she wants to kia let's never fight anyways so i got a strike on my channel 
at first I was like, what the F? You know, I was like pissed off. I was like, and I was like, what? what? You know, but then like I saw like the post that I made, like I deleted it, but it's about the, po it was for the post that, thanks mistress, Georgia girl, that I made about that Kalani lady. So at first I was mad and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter, like, because I was responding to, I was triggered, as usual, but that's my problem to be triggered. But anyway, I was triggered because I saw parts of a video on Yo Mama's live stream about her, and she was, like, you know, calling me a heifer, and that my husband wouldn't touch me. So I, you know, said some nasty things back. So, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I got caught for it. I think it's weird that, you know, that YouTube doesn't, you know, keep the same energy for some other channels that swear and all that. But what I said was really nasty. So you know what? I'm like, fine. I, what I did was wrong. I'll take the hit. I'll take the L. You know what? I think it's a song. Surprised that she's taking it so well. And I, 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 like I said, I do think it's the weed that's making her so giddy and being back in Canada and stuff like that. I mean, I think we're all collectively happy that she's back in Canada because now she can bees to her heart's content. And that's where the best content is, right? Um... Her name is Kalari, by the way. You insulted her. You you degraded her. You you know give her the. You might as well give her the you know the, you know uh some respect and actually call her by her correct name. Okay, her name is Kalari. Um. You're sitting here saying, well, why doesn't YouTube have the same energy for for other people like they do? But see, we're not out here saying disgusting things like you did to Kalari. Chantel, you are the one that has, that violated terms of service. You're the one that was vile for no reason other than what, because of what you mama had said on his channel. Okay. And you had no choice but to take the L, to take the hit. Because there's nothing you could have done, Chantel. You tr see, you know what you tried to do? You deleted the, the post thing and made an apology, thinking that would be enough to subvert, you know, to, to stop any strike from happening. But it didn't work. What was done is done, Chantel. Deleting the post was not going to save your ass. So, stop acting as if you had a choice, Chantel. You did not have a choice. And it wasn't just for the the post. It was for that video as well. A not normal video. If uh, what we saw in the beginning of this video is anything to go by. So you think, Chantel, that you can say and do whatever you want on YouTube. With no repercussions. With no, you know, karma. And guess what, Chantel? That's not how this w shit works. There are rules that we have to adhere to as content creators. As viewers. Okay. It is what it is, you know? This is not a place where you just, you know, do anything you want without any repercussions. I mean, it's just, like anything in life, there there are rules. You know what I mean? Actions have consequences. It is what it is. from god or from whatever the universe whatever you want to believe that i needed that break like this break has been amazing for me and i know that's going to annoy you and it's going to make people mad but it was so why well, I, I, I don't believe that's the case because chantelle you were on every reaction channel conceivable leaving leaving hate comments mine included okay that doesn't speak of someone who was happy to be on a ban. You're more you're more like probably talk to Shmi, whatever or whoever, and they convinced you that it was a good thing for that you, you that you were on the ban and that it would give you time to have a break. That's probably which what pretty much happened, right? You were probably you were raging about the fact that you couldn't come online and that you were basically forced to go back to Canada because you couldn't get your visa renewed. That's what I think the real situation, the, what the real situation was during the time of your ban, Chantel. Let's be for, let's be real here. 
Because you need the money, Chantel, in, uh, from YouTube in order to survive. It is your sole source of income. If it were me and then if I got banned for a week and I couldn't make any money, you know, and my, and my check was going to be reduced, I would be upset too. But you did it to yourself. So no sympathy from me. Amazing. The break was awesome, you know. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what? I was nasty. Like, doesn't matter if I'm being nasty back, whatever. Like, I'm the my point is, like, I need to just... It does matter because you're not supposed to, to act like that on here on YouTube. There are, like I said, there are rules, Chantel, that you, ha that you yourself also have to adhere by. This is not a rules for for thee but not for me situation. I know YouTube is very biased when it comes to who they you know um will penalize whatever but technically it's not a rules for the rules for thee but not for me situation. We all have to adhere to the same rules whether YouTube enforces them on or not ignore these people and really just bees focus on beesing focus on and i missed you guys so much like you guys are my support system i realize that in a lot of ways like so yeah i have to be positive because you know what youtube is a popularity contest a lot of people don't like me so any little way they can obviously they're going to report me right especially if i do something that um goes against terms of service and it's not a pop okay popularity contest whatever but you're a vile person, Chantel, and you said some very vile things about an innocent woman. Yeah, she was talking about you on her channel, but this is not like a normal back and forth between you two. Like you, you didn't even know who she was until to until uh your mama brought her up. All right, and because of what she said, you went on your community tab and basically demeaned her to is you demeaned her. You demeaned her looks and stuff like that. It was vile. Absolutely vile. There was no reason why you had to demean Kalari in that way. If I get caught, that's... Like, is it worth risking my entire channel for going after every little, like, people who are saying, like, that I'm a pig? You know, like... No, I needed to check my behavior. It's like ruining my mental health, everything. So basically this this break was amazing and I made a I don't I don't believe that she has seen the light. I think somebody I think Shmi may have had, had a talking her and her had like a heart to heart maybe, but it's only a matter of time, right? Chantel is if anything she is consistent when it comes to her, her bad attitude. It's only a matter of time until she gets triggered again and goes off. The rage is going to happen, you guys. It's just right now she's really trying to watch what she says and how she behaves on here because she doesn't want to lose her channel. But it's only a matter of time. Very big decision to um, move back to... She knows... By, I'm sorry, I keep on stopping. But she knows, though, in the back of her mind, that YouTube... You know, they could be very well be watching her very carefully because this is the second time now that she's been on a timeout for her bad behavior. So she has to be very careful moving forward. To Canada. Honestly, if I had my way and I was rich, I would probably bounce back and forth all the time. No, you're not. You know what? I wouldn't. This journey, <laughs> let me tell you this one of the stories, okay? I normally fly with Qatar. If you were rich, it wouldn't matter if you had a, a gazillion dollars, Chantel. You'd be still on a tourist visa. Okay? You'd still be on a tourist visa, and you would still be s d dealing with the same situation. It is what it is, Chantel. You're n and in any case, you really don't have any connections in Kuwait. Any okay? You're not really married to Salah. I mean, yeah... Julia and Harry is somewhat of a connection, but it's not as if that Sala can can't like uh rehome them basically, right?
Airways or Emirates. I, I know I'm like, I only fly with Qatar. No, but hey, if I go with Qatar... Let's be real, you probably couldn't afford to fly with Emirates and Qatar because they're both very expensive and, you know, your you know, paycheck has been cut in half. So I, I just don't think you could really afford it. And I don't think it was on your dime that you can... Uh, I think it was on Shmi's dime. Qatar or Emirates, I'm on the plane for 13 hours straight. But if I try a different route where Lufthansa, which is a German airline, I booked, I, I, so I, I went from Kuwait to Frankfurt on Lufthansa. Then I had an almost three hour layover in Frankfurt. So on the first flight, they gave me, they give you a sandwich. It's like this long. They give you a sandwich and it's their vegetarian sandwich. It had cream cheese, okay? The cream cheese, I don't know, mess with my gut. So that's digesting. By the time I get to the second leg of my, you know, the Air Canada, I'm like, please don't let anyone sit beside me. Please don't let anyone sit beside me. Well, this guy comes bouncing down the, wa the, the, the walkway, sits right beside me. Okay, whatever. I, I slept most of the flight. He ordered wine. You get like complimentary little bottles of wine on Air Canada. He ordered wine and he spilt red wine on my clothes twice. So I... Oh my God, Chantel, get over it. Shit happens on a plane. You know, more like you're spilling over onto his seat and you were that because you're so fat, Chantel. You should have ordered two seats. Maybe she did and it was still not enough. I don't know. It's not like a bottle of booze. I have to let out some chin, sorry. By the way, you guys don't have to delete med messages. Just let people talk. But that's when the sandwich starts hurting my stomach. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gurgling. For some reason, the cream cheese or something in that sandwich gave me the ultimate gas. It was the probably the worst gas attack I ever had in my life. And we're like, the, the captain was like, okay, we have 20 minutes left till landing. I couldn't go. I had to go, like I had to go number two, I had to go, you know what I mean? And I, and I have no gallbladder. So we land and then you know how you have to wait to deplane, okay? It takes forever to deplane, the, everyone's just standing there like waiting for them to, to open the door. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get to go. I'm like clenching hard, I need to go. Then we're all standing up. I go, go grab my luggage from the overhead bin and the guy's like, okay, everyone sit back down because immigration is coming on board. I couldn't hold it. I was like, I couldn't hold, like, I'm like, I can't. Anyway, somehow miraculously I did. They checked our passports. Like they checked everyone's passports. I can't stand the summer in Kuwait. Um, I need free healthcare, even no matter what my visa status would be there. I don't want to talk about that, but it would be expensive. So just think of, make whatever you want of that. First, you're very, being very inconsiderate on the plane and, and okay. Everybody's in the same situation, so Chantel, but you're acting like, you know, it was all about you, of course. And then, basically, you admit what we all been saying for months. I mean, over a, almost a year or over a year. You can't afford the healthcare system. You can't take the heat in Kuwait, so you're coming back to, uh, to Canada either of uh, your own volition or because you were forced. I think it was because you were forced. Because let's face it, what a uh, poopgate happened the last time you were in Canada, right? And uh, you're probably afraid that Salah is going to cheat on you again, right? Right? I'm not divorced. I'm still with Salah. I'm taking things day by day and letting leaving honestly this you know you're gonna think it's cringe but i'm leaving it up to god like i'm just gonna control what i can control in my life and not worry so much so like you know what i mean i don't disagree with that and you know with that way of thinking like there's only so much in life that you can control okay but this is somebody whispering in Chantel's ear right Chantel didn't naturally come to this conclusion. So she had a talking to with either Shmi or whoever. And they're just like, you know, you got to, you know, you got to just take things as they come. You, you know, you can't control, you know, everything. Right. Because Chantel's a control freak. Okay. So 
I think it's only a matter of time until she rages. I think she's still trying to get back to Kuwait because she's deathly afraid of Salah cheating on her again. And we all know that he's been cheating on her since even when though she's been there and he's going to cheat on her again. It is what it is. He's never been faithful. Because it's not about love. It's about papers. And citizenship. Honestly, when you... I don't know. I just... I have to worry about myself. I am definitely getting an apartment. Like, I, I need to get my own setup here. So I need to set up everything, which means I have to, like, get everything from scratch. Like, I'm not rich. Like, I... We are okay. Like, we do fine. Like, we were able to, like, you know, everything... Fix you gonna pay for the fart box in the sky and an apartment here a uh, uh, sorry not here but like in canada it's like the city okay i'm gonna say this right now renting is so fucking expensive in the u.s and in canada like i you know just like when Chantal was back in you know in canada the last time i looked up the prices in her area just kind of get like a when she was talking about you know like staying in canada i looked it up because i was just, just genuinely curious like uh, what the you know how what how much it was going to cost to rent a place okay and then i based it off her income at the time okay based on the analytics all right there's no way she's going to be able to afford to pay for the fart box in the sky and Kuwait and also pay for a place in Canada. It is hellishly expensive to to rent in Canada and in the U.S. Because you know, I'm I'm not going to like disclose our personal like financial situation, but we were thinking about moving and and to renting. Okay, because it's it's for us it's it's not just about you know the price of, of what you know what we're paying. It's also about maintenance. Okay, and see when you're renting a lot of the places, uh, they take care of the maintenance side. But it's like we realize that we wouldn't be able to afford to rent a a place big enough for all three of us on our on our budget. And no matter what, the reason why the rent is so high is because you know they the people who are renting out, you know the the renting out these places also have to pay for the insurance and maintenance and stuff like that so that's why they've hiked up the prices right so it's like no matter what we would still be having to pay the same price uh to for you know for certain maintenance stuff so it's like we might as well stay where we are okay and just you know budget a little a bit better because it's just more cost effective at the end of the day. Because no, you're not going to win in any situation. And I'd rather stay at this place and just pay for what, you know, for the, you know, get, you know, try to find a way to pay for all the repairs needing to be done and, and stuff like that. And now that I'm going to be working again and I'm getting some income from YouTube, it's like it'll help. Because it's like the, no way I'd be able to afford to rent. It's actually cheaper to have a mortgage, basically. I'm not lying. It is. Like, we're, we're paying, we'll be paying less money, like, we're paying less money for living in a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house than we'd be paying more money to rent one. I mean, it is what it is. So, cause, so it's just like, how is she going to be able to afford that? Fix the car, um, get me here, which was like crazy. I'm getting. He's probably gonna have to move back in with Pete's, and I, I'm guessing maybe he won't be. I, I'm hoping he won't be so eager this time. Getting Sam back. But my guess is that he's gonna cave. Back when I get my place, the foster lady. Leave the cat alone. Lady, she's like after all, she had a cat before Sam, an older cat. And he doesn't really like Sam. I thought they were getting along, but no. Are you worried about Salabis? Thank you, Jessica. You know what? No, I'm not worried about... I'm not going to worry about that. Like, I have my trust in... Renewed trust. I said I would do it. Like, trust. Like, and, you know, like, I'm just going to live life. Like, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not going to stress about that. I'm not going to 
I, there's nothing I can do. I don't have a, I'm not a fly on the wall over there. I can't live my life distrusting somebody, you know, like I can't waste that energy. Wow. So basically, I, I don't think they had a fight. I don't think that's what happened. Uh, it's just the more and more I, I'm watching this, the more I'm in my gut is telling me that she doesn't come back to Canada by choice. And I think this is her way of giving Salah like the the okay to like basically see other people. Because she doesn't know how long it's going to be, right? And the, I don't see her being able to bring Salah to Canada. Hmm. I'm just not, I don't know. I'm not buying what she's selling. I think she is technically worried about Salah cheating and stuff like that. But she doesn't have any control. So she's going to put on this front and be like, well, whatever happens, happens. But I think deep down she is scared. She is terrified of what Salah is going to do when she's not there. When we all know what's going to happen. And I think she knows too. I think she knows. Um, if I ever learn of something that's different, I'll deal with it. But I'm not going to... No, I'm going to focus on myself. Salah is a good cat dad. I don't want to leave him... Like He genuinely, genuinely looks sad at the thought of leaving Julia. Inshallah, he can come here. Yeah. No, I'm not here to renew my visa. <sighs> Dispensary. Shit. You, they, Chantel, no, you're not here to renew your visa. You can't because you can't go back to Kuwait. And you're just too... You won't admit it. You won't admit to it. I think right now you're just putting up the front and and uh, hoping that Salah will, will you know, stick around. But here's the thing, Chantal. If you can't renew your visa and can't go back to Kuwait... I, mean, I, I think I remember hearing it's like... um, It could be like three years, whatever. So, yeah, Salah's not going to stick around that long. If that were me, okay, and... I, I don't know. I think I think what's going on right now, she's just waiting to see if she can get back to Kuwait and she's just gonna buy her you know, bide her time, okay, and put up this front. And if it's if it turns out that she can't go back for a number of years, she may end things with Sala. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just guessing. Um, but I um and she may try to get him to come to Canada. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many possibilities, like but I figured, you know, on the break, that she was going to come back to Canada. Something was telling me that don't be surprised, Lisa, if she's going to be back in Canada when she when she finally comes back online. And here we are. Like, something was telling me and my gut was right. Time for wheelchair bees. Yeah. No, Ramadan's not over. I didn't have to fast while I was oh. traveling. I did. Mama, I, I let it go on the plane so bad. Can somebody tell me when Ramadan ends? I'll have to look that up. I thought Ramadan was over. And I couldn't hold it. It was like the, like a, a machine gun with mixed with a tuba. <laughs> I'm religious, so I don't care. Here's the thing. There's religion and there's culture, okay? I'm Canadian, like, blood-wise, and we believe... You are supposed to be a Muslim revert. Okay, Muslims are not allowed to take intoxicants. It is what it is, Chantel. Seriously. I am this argument, well, it's it's religion and culture. No. It's the fact that there are rules within the Muslim within Islam that you're not supposed to be on intoxicants of any kind. And I've I've known this for years because I like I said in, in my previous videos I had friends back in the day like when I first moved to the city my first group of friends that I had that I wish I would have like stuck with and like you know um, stayed in touch with were all Muslim girls and they would tell me about you know what they could and couldn't do and I you know honestly I I jived so well with them. Okay, it was just like it was like a language barrier and a cultural barrier, but like that kind of like broke us apart, whatever. Um, but I like the fact that they, you know, they weren't 
into the whole drug scene and stuff like that. Very respectful. Like, they couldn't act the way Chantel acts. You know what I mean? Because their parents would have their hides. I mean, it... girl. I believe in the medicinal power of marijuana. So that's something I'm going to consider. It's an intoxicant. It is an intoxicant. Just, you know what, Chantel, why don't you just do CBD? I don't get it. There are high levels of CBD you can get that do not have the intoxicant in it, okay? And you'd be fine with that. You know, and see, in my state, well, see, it, things have changed now. Um, in my state now, it's like, Marijuana is le like is actually technically legal in my state. We we fought for that, okay? But it's like there's no place that you can legally get it. Like so right now we're I guess uh the lawmakers are trying to you know get places, you know, to sell marijuana. So it's like you know, right now you can only get it med you know medically, but I I'm hoping in a, in a, in a couple of years that would be able to get, you know, to actually go out and, like, go to a Kroger, you know, just go to somewhere to go get your weed, you know what I mean? Like, um, I would like to try THC for, see if it helps with pain and stuff like that, medicinal purposes, um, but I just can't afford the card. It, the card and then the appointment, it's so expensive, like, and I, and it's not covered by insurance. That's something that I'm trying to work with. You know, I've been trying to f fighting with my insurance company to have them help me pay for that, but I haven't, I haven't had any luck with it. Let's just say that. Because uh, I know it would be frowned upon by most Muslim people, but was worried your mouth got you in trouble. Be safe and not talk personal business online or speak ill of others. You're right. Thank you. You guys, I know you guys. Yeah, exactly. Your behavior on here, Chantel, is not one that, that's not the speak of somebody who is truly a Muslim revert. They're all happy because, like, this is the land of the bees. I can't go back to Kuwait. Yeah. No, you can't. Because if you could, you would be there, Chantel. We all know that. Kuwait. Look, I love Kuwait. And I do miss Salah, like, a lot. It's so hard. Being in a long distance marriage and for who who knows how long but this is like a sacrifice i have to make and it'll be a true test of our relationship too because you know like that long of distance no we'll see you know and i i'm here to like also i have to work on myself but i need a plan what the fuck i i'm i'm sorry will you please far on camera again answer please shelly peters mcpherson who the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm not. I haven't been watching the chat, but I, I just saw this in the corner of my eye and I had to stop and react to this. Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously? Will you please fart on camera? Is this Salah? Is this Salah the, a, a saying this and he's just too ashamed to. To like literally come out and say that it's him, like what the, I I oh my god that's disgusting. Of course Salah would want <laughs> would want um Chantel off to fart on camera because he's into that sort of thing. He likes that shit. Yeah, someday he can visit, but mm -hmm. like for now I'm just fo I have to focus on me and you know beezing. Yeah, addressing my health. I can't stand the summer there. I would just be in all the time, you know? In the summer, it's worse. I'm going to be in. I cannot go outside. I will die there in the summer. Set the chin free. That's why I'm doing a little bit of the chin. Thank you, Miss Linda. Welcome home. Ready for supporting the new... Support well, at least she's admitting that she'll, she'll melt in the summertime. Supporting the new Villa Glow Up. Yeah, I want to have, like, a bed rot bees era. No, I'm just joking. I'm, I don't have any plans. In a bed rot bees. So you just basically what the fuck? What the fuck am I listening to? Like seriously. You 
You finally seem like yourself again. Missed you. Yeah, see, she is so happy to be back. Back in her home country, back to, to the Western world where she can partake in any vice that she wants to. Just admit, Chantel, you are not a Muslim. Just please, just stop with the cosplay, stop with the fake marriage, and just be yourself. Seriously. This is not you in any way, shape, or form. Hell, you'd be better... You know what? I don't, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm getting a place here. A bees means... Yeah, we can bees in a hijab. And I don't... I, I ate a non-halal chicken sandwich at the airport, by the way. Chantal is trying to convince herself that this week-long ban changed her in every way. She admits the community post that got her struck was in fact gross, wants her own place, wants to get Sam back, wants to focus on her health and start therapy, and says she's not too worried about Sulla cheating again whilst she's gone. <laughs> I'm I am so ready for poop gate part part two. I really am. Somebody needs to take up the mantle and and do another Kybella like pull a Kybella like seriously. Cheated on me. He admitted it today. Chantal has said she is permanently moving back to Canada so many times, but do you actually believe her this time? Do you believe she is really going to stay here and work on herself, or do you think no. when the going gets tough, the Chantal will be going right back to Kuwait? And do you have any faith that Sulla will remain faithful during this time that they are apart? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you there. I don't believe it. I, I, and the thing is, I think she right now she's just, you know, um, using this, you know, and pretending like, oh, I'm going to stay in Canada for my health, and and then I'll get her support. But in in the behind the scenes, she's desperate to get back to Kuwait. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Okay, keep in mind, take what I say with a grain of salt, all right? I don't have all the facts. I, I, I like so many others, whether it be a reacting, reaction channel or just a, a regular, you know, a, just a regular viewer, I'm just like putting the pieces together and like spaghetti in the wall, seeing what sticks, okay? So I'm going to have to say this from now on. Take what I say with a grain of salt because I could be wrong. All right. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I'm going to be posting two videos today because um, there is another live stream. All right. So look out for the other video. It's going to be the uh, me reacting to the full 45 minute live stream that she did. And then I'll be caught up in Chantopolis. So... Yeah. All right. Until next time, folks. Toodaloo, my loves.